Alright guys, welcome back to some more SnowRunner today. One of the things I really want to do is start work on the next map, but I think before we do that we should kind of not necessarily finish off on this map because that would take far too long and be far too difficult. Um, but I think it would be good to at least clear this corner of the map, so that would mean doing uh, lo local en entertainment, which I currently have active, and also getting the last watchtower. We already have the Chevy over here, which is our nearest truck, considering the other two are still in the garage right now. So I was going to take the Chevy over and see to all of this. Um, but first we need to actually try and get down the, the hill here. We could go down the long way, the way the map shows, but that would take far too long. We have the autonomous winch, so we can save ourselves if we get flipped. Um, and we should be able to do it. I hope we can. Also, I'm trying out immersive mode, which basically means that unless we're actually doing something with the controls or the menu here, we don't have the UI on it fades out, um, which will allow for much easier creation of thumbnails. Yes, indeed. So, I'm thinking that the easiest way we can do this is by dropping down this side of the mountain. There is also this way, but there's too many rocks there and too many trees here, so I'm going to try this side. It will take a little bit of getting used to playing in immersive mode because I'm very used to being able to see everything. Like at once, you know? So, low range. All wheel drive and diff lock. Okay, I'm gonna aim for that gap in the trees right in front of me. I'm gonna keep it slow. Let the truck roll for the most part. Try not to flip it over forwards as well. There's a gap right there, look. There we go. That sent us over forwards, that was a bit steep. We didn't take any damage though, I don't think. And we do have our autonomous winch. Should be good now. I'm just gonna drive forward a little bit here if I can. Can we fit through here? Yep. And I think we made it. And we took no damage. I call that a massive success, even though we rolled, about the fact that we didn't take any damage. But I am gonna cut because this is gonna take a long time, and I'll just show little cl clips of me getting to each of the main points of interest here, the five different barrels and the watchtower. Okay. That's one. Now let's get the watchtower while we're here. Good. That's all of the watchtowers on this map, right? Oh no, there's one more there. Oh, there's two more there. I forgot about those two. Oh well. We'll come back with those some other time. Okay. 
Okay, that's that one. Gently does it, and there we go. Okay. And then that last one... Requires a whole load of driving. This does look shallower than the rest. Very muddy though. But we did it. That's everything up here now, right? Oh, there's this watchtower as well? And I drove right past it, didn't I? I just totally did drive right past it. Okay, um... I am good at this game, I swear. Most definitely. Um... I think... I think... Let's leave... Let's just leave this map for now. Let's just leave this map. We've done well for today on this map. We've cleared this top corner, which is what I set out to do. We totally haven't forgotten three of the watchtowers. We'll come back here. So what I'm gonna do... ...is I'm gonna say that this one is probably the easiest one for us to do. Because we get fuel from the fuel station over here. How many bricks is here? One brick's there. Oh, there's one brick there. And one brick there. Interesting. So we can get everything from this side of the map. The two planks from the lumber mill, one brick's from this trailer, and one brick's from this trailer. The problem is we need to unpack them from the trailers. Mm, you know what we could do? Okay, this is my epic idea of epic idea of planningness, right? What we can do is go into the garage. Now to pick which truck we're gonna bring for this. So I think we're good to just head out, honestly. I will definitely cut though because it will take a while to get over there. Oh, come on, game, are you kidding me? The annoying thing is that I've been driving so carefully as well, and been driving so well, and I wasn't even going particularly fast. So, the first thing we are going to do is bring that trailer with the singular bricks on it. I mean, I say singular and then bricks, plural, but... It, it, it's, it's many different bricks, it's just one slot worth of bricks, you know? Let's not risk destroying the truck over a freaking planter. And the first thing we're going to do is basically put all four of these other random things off to the side. I've even stacked that to look quite nice, I'm proud of that. <laughs> Okay, good enough. I want this to be nice and smooth because I don't want the stuff to fly all over the place. There we go, perfect. And pack cargo. There we go. This is as far back as the crane can allow us to. That'll do. And another one. Oh, wrong button. Oh, no, it was the right button. I accidentally pressed the right button, thinking that I'd pressed the wrong button. That is something only I can do. Let's bring this other wooden planks over to the trailer, put it nice and lined up. That's actually alright. I much prefer loading the flatbed trailers rather than the uh, sideboard ones, because you can just sort of swing the cargo around rather than having to raise it up further and then lower it down where you want it to go. Uh, the, the disadvantage, of course, is if you tip over slightly enough for the cargo to fall out with a sideboard trailer, you have a higher chance of the cargo just, um, 
just sort of staying in the trailer even though it's fallen out. Also, I'm just gonna nudge the, the planks like Oh my god, that was a brilliant idea! I am a legend! Wrong one. Actually, no, right one. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that! This... This is how you play SnowRunner! Look at this! I'm unbelievably pleased with myself. Like, it's neat. And just yes, you know. And the Paystar is handling it absolutely spectacularly. Look at this. One of the first things we're going to do is we're going to find the garage on Smith Smithville Dam because I'm pretty sure that I've just remembered that there is a road blockage on the road that we need to take to the farm which is where this stuff is going to so we can definitely transport the trailer and the goods over there or at least to, to like wherever the roadblock is or to the garage we can just keep the trailer there for now with the stuff on it ready to go but I don't think that we can actually complete this right away. We're going to have to do something else. And in fact, I think some of the stuff that was already on the trailer is some of the stuff that we do need. However, we have another truck. We have our little Fleet Star that we can use. We have another trailer sat over there as well. And um, there also may be stuff that we can just use on Smithville anyway. Okay, that's the last bit of rough terrain that we have on this map, I believe. From here, it's all paved road. Never mind. <laughs> uh, my, my memory failed me on that one. Truly an orbital moment of all time. Off we go. To Smithville Dam. White Western Star. I want the White Western Star back. I miss it. Let's hope the Paystar can stay in gear for this. Because this is a steep one. Come on, little Paystar, pull. Come on. Don't change down. Yes. You know you can do it. I dread to think how much fuel this is using right now, but it's fine. It did it. I am going to leave the trailer here. And just pop into the garage to repair and fuel up. And also to just unlock it. I believe all we have to do is just drive up to it. Yes, indeed. Now we have our garage on this map. Perfect. So, let's just take a look at what it needs. This, this roadblock. Because I'm pretty damn sure that there's one here. Yeah, look, it's right there. Right outside the garage. Service spare parts. Oh, we can get them right from the service hub, though. And honestly, what I'm going to do... To save time... Instead of going back to the garage with this, changing out to a flatbed, going over to the thing, coming back here, going back to the trailer... I'm just going to park this near the trailer, so it's good to go, and then I'm going to bring the Fleet Star out, and let's use the Fleet Star to get the service spare parts. And also, again, I'm not going to force myself to do anything I don't want to do, so... I... Oh. Yeah, I did switch the engine off. I am going to not bother with the crane, how about that? There we go. Look at this little truck, it's a nice little truck. It's 
good to have our um our what's it? Our um all terrain tires on it now. Also, I'm just gonna grab this, seeing as it's here, or at least discover it. And I'm also going to pick up this task, whatever it is. There we go. So now we can just leave the fleet star here for now. It's fine. Definitely very glad we have all terrain tires for this though. They improved this road because this is actually like relatively solid right here. This is not as bad as it used to be. By quite a long shot, actually. Either that or I'm just better at the game these days. There's a bit of mud, but still, it's right through it. Is this a task here? This is a task here. Let's get this. That's... oh that's not so much XP. For some unknown reason with this particular task, the money and the XP are inverted. They're the other way around to normal. We'll take a look at what that is after we've delivered this. This was actually much easier than I thought it would be. Here we are. They have definitely changed the mud here. Wait, is this where we're going to? Oh, I've got the wrong thing. Uh... Unload the bricks, unload the planks. There we go, we just need the two fuel. Turn the engine off. What does hungry workers require? Consumables. To the drilling site. Okay. Um, so, fuel, 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 fuel. We're gonna get that from the fuel station, because it's nice and easy, it'll take much less time. star again. Mm. Perfect. It even matches our truck. <laughs> and here we are. Amazing. A little bit more XP. Uh, what is that? Over halfway to rank 7. Okay, well, that's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. And, um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Talk to you all then.